this computer. Go for it. Good morning. My name is Miles, and I'm here to call about your ex car's extended warranty. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm here with Jake. Oh, Jesus, gross. <laughs> you did that last time. No, I did drag his fun woo last time. Yeah, but time. then before that, on the precast assessment. No, I did, did witty catchphrase. God damn it. Okay. I am keeping track of these. <laughs> I'm angry. Anyway. <laughs> and we're also here with Amber. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Amber having original phrases and not just quoting Drag Race religiously. Good for her. <laughs> Good Look for at her me. having a personality. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, personality that's not Drag Race. Right. Anyway, this is Questions and Queries, a podcast for gays talking about whatever they want to talk about. And we are discussing Drag Race season 14, in particular, the very first episode of the season. Just general premiere. thoughts. How do we feel? Um, This is a fun premiere. Uh, honestly cool. yeah mm -hmm. um one thing i will say is it's nice to see rupaul is having a good time again <laughs> yeah there were a few spots in the last three years where i'm like do you still want to do this <laughs> like well and especially during these international seasons like watching down under she's just like doing it and that's yeah. it <laughs> she just <laughs> like you can literally see her in the frame looking at the guy waving the paycheck just offset you know <laughs> <laughs> She, she's hanging on. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so we're going to go through um, the Queen's entrance looks, discuss her confessional looks, um, the challenges, the runways, and that's just all every, every, as much as we can cover from the first episode. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So we'll just jump right in, huh? Just yes, like the uh, the episode did, we didn't even get like a tease, a cold open, anything like that. We just jumped no, right into no. the title yeah, sequence. There wasn't like a theme or anything. Like it was no. just like Paris Drag Race. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so this is our second U.S. season to use the new like title sequence music. How do what do you think about it? I don't notice a difference, quite honestly. Um, the, the only thing I notice is that it's in a different key, and it kind of like, yeah. But like, <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> I, I see what you're saying. I think at this point, it's just like, it's so ingrained that I still hear the original theme anyway. <laughs> so like, it's like, people are like, what do you think about the, that they changed it? I'm like, they changed it? What? <laughs> like, yeah, I'm like, cool. I don't know what like, the original one sounds you know, like. And I thought it sounded great. Right. I've been watching since season seven. And so now I'm just like, you know, <laughs> And we have a new sponsor this season. We, we've got Cash App sending the girls their prize money. <laughs> oh, yeah, I noticed that. I was like, what? Like, <laughs> imagine like, you just the strangest sponsorship. You're just getting the notification. RuPaul sent you $100,000. <laughs> like, okay, great. Thanks, mom. Oh we love it. <laughs> All right, so we've got our first uh entrance look in confessional we've got miss Alyssa hunter wow okay um <laughs> i am tired of girls trying to use a prop bone arrow and not understanding <laughs> how they work <laughs> that that is a trend <laughs> <laughs> what uh, <laughs> but besides that the fit is nice i like all the like different pelts woven in is really cool the yeah. hair is really um I like that it's so, what's the word? Um, it's like, I don't know. This is yeah. the right way. Um, oh, ow. <laughs> she's just, sorry, she jumped on me and I was like, okay, well, if you want the camera time, here you go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she's here for the airtime, honey. <laughs> she's here for a um, spinoff. Right. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, the hair is cool. Um, and we can all agree, Alyssa Hunter, trade of the season. Trade right? of the season. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it has never been so quickly established. <laughs> like, there's no question about it. I love that even Alyssa is like, oh yeah, I'm the trade of the season. Like, <laughs> at least she knows. It's the confidence. I, but I'll take it because remember when Cameron was on and then she's like, I don't know if I'm the trade of the season. I'm like, girl, you have like a six pack. Like, what do you yeah. mean? <laughs> we, we love a queen that is very sure of like, yeah, they know. Right. The like, this is good. Don't act like. 
So Alyssa Hunter, and then we've got Bosco. This Ooh. is the craziest transformation I have ever seen. <laughs> so as y'all know, I live in um, Washington and I've been to Seattle several times. I love Seattle, but Bosco's confessional look is every single thing I hate about Seattle. <laughs> 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 oh my god <laughs> there's a lot going on and i consider myself, myself pretty liberal but take a damn shower you hit me. <laughs> like... oh my god wow no, this literally so like they've got bosco walk in the room and then they swap to her confessional look and i'm like yeah. who the fuck is this? yeah like it's crazy. i have the night and day difference yeah it's crazy. Right. I the, loved her entrance look, though. I thought it was super cool. I love it. Like, super different. No, yeah, yeah. Giving me, like, the emo queen vibes, which I am here for. No. And I love mm-hmm. what she said about that she's here to prove that she's not just an alternative skanky girl from Seattle. She's the alternative <laughs> skanky yes. girl from Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, you better work. That was great, yeah. Uh, I do... I'm low key worried that like every like damn near every look we're gonna see is gonna have horns. Yeah, and, like, we'll get it. Theme. We'll get into this, but that's just like yeah. initial thoughts. Stop yeah. relying on them horns, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, this cornbread, the snack should tag. or should we say cornbread, the winner should say? Because yes. honestly, honest. yes. <laughs> so I, much personality like I through know. the roof <laughs> yes her personality like it gave me such a serotonin boost I was just like oh my god you're fantastic and yes at, like the faces and just oh she's so great yeah right win it. And, and this oh, yeah. go ahead can we take a second and appreciate a queen that like knows how to proportionize oh my gosh yeah, yeah. Like, like that is a yeah. snatch way. She waist. knows her body and it looks so good. I'm like, yes. Yeah. Oh, stunning. Yeah. <laughs> also, I love these like gold braids at the top, like in this <laughs> in this uh workroom entrance. Like mm-hmm. they look mm-hmm. so good. Oh yeah. my gosh. I was like, wow. Ugh. Yeah. All right. Willow pill. Oh, Willow. I can't. Pill. <laughs> the shoes. I have thoughts. <laughs> yeah. <the> thing. <laughs> like, I'm very um confused by this look, honestly. This is very like, early 2000s. Uh-huh. This bitch thinks she's better than you. Like straight up mall walker. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 And the thing is, like, I hated this look. Mm-hmm. Until, Me too. Until Uh-oh. she turned around. And there was a tramp stamp just poking up just off the top. And I was like, ah, you oh, know exactly I didn't even what notice you're doing. that. <laughs> I was 90% like, okay. sure that is just Willow Pills tattoo. I, like that's hope, not even. I, I hope so. But also like the fact that like this small little detail. And I was like, I, I get it now. I still think mm-hmm. it's ugly, but I really get it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving how Twitter is just going crazy about like, oh no, this is just like Willow being like, fourth tier genius like Mm -hmm. and like they've got all these reasons about why this is just such a fantastic and like intelligent look and it was like yeah no i just thought it was a good look (laughs) (laughs) right no like shut it down (laughs) oh also one of my favorite entrance lines ever where am i where am i (laughs) okay but uh, speaking of fun entrance lines i cackled when Bosco was like, let's go out there and make a difference. And I was like, oh my God. Yeah. That was so I random. loved that so much. <laughs> All right. So, Next girl. Carrie Colby. Okay. Favorite I, entrance look. I'm really? just going to say this yes. right now. I am like hella simping for Carrie Colby. Like I saw her and I was like, I just fell in love. <laughs> this is my soulmate I'm obsessed with her like she looks so freaking good I was my mind was blown yeah that's all I have to say about that I I will say in confessional she looks beautiful I'm like Mm -hmm. okay she's Uh, like holy moly the amount of dedication you are taking to put a full face of makeup on just for confession confessional I'm like wow honestly yeah no what I love this 
this hits me as like an evolution, like the next step of Got Mix, uh, trans pride look from last season. Understood. Yes, I see that. I see this. Like with the with the train, yeah. <laughs> with the train pride. <laughs> um. I, hey, hey, wait, whoa. Oh, oh yeah, let's, let's jump back. Excuse me. <laughs> Apparently my opinions sure. aren't valid or necessary. I hear what you're saying, but fuck you. <laughs> Don't steal my life. I've been waiting weeks. <laughs> you're like, soon. <laughs> um... I think this is a good entrance look. I don't think it's the best one. Um, I especially after following Cornbread, I found Cornbread's a lot more interesting. Um, this is a bodysuit with some flowy dings off of it, which is still gorgeous. I just there were there was more effort than others. I found at least because I feel like Carrie is already so naturally beautiful. I need to see her do something a little bigger. But that's just me. Honestly, just like aesthetically for me, like the color composition, the like, like the r- blue roots. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, like the palette is oh. nice. Don't get me wrong. Like, I just, for me, I, it just seems like, wow, like you are a pretty girl <laughs> in not a lot of material. Sure. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay. I don't know still my favorite still i know gorgeous. i was like i don't agree I mean, with you at all miles also, but you know i can't <laughs> i can't fall her. i can't be mad because she has the body you better work make it look great awesome you know like <laughs> continue relying on that body <laughs> <laughs> right all right moving on harry was my favorite by far june is my least favorite entrance look it's- I want to like but, this so badly. Yeah, I, I don't just know how. Can't. Yeah, the, the foundation is there. Yeah, it's just like pull it, it up. <laughs> Cornbread something in confession about how like June is like a label whore and will wear a label even if it doesn't quite fit. This mm-hmm. is that. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> something about it just doesn't quite fit right. Yeah. yeah um but it's i see what she's trying to do and honestly i can't even be mad because that mug and that hair like amazing Mm -hmm. honestly like if i if i cover up like the neck down i'm like that's the winner you know like (laughs) great and then i see this not quite nude pink bodysuit and i'm like "Mm." all i can think is like just pull it up yeah that's what it was kind of bothering me too it was just like just like a little bit just <laughs> right but now the confessional, confessional look, look it's cute it is so yeah cute. i like the confessional i love the also, hat so it's much straight up Mayha miller and asia o'hara had a love child and it's June yes! like... <laughs> absolutely like, that's all i could think of the entire time i was like why do you look like the perfect mix between the two <laughs> <laughs> no absolutely um Okay. Orion story. <laughs> this, this is my favorite me. entrance. <laughs> it's not a real hamburger. Don't worry. <laughs> like, are you ready, Boots? Like, what? <laughs> yeah, I was, I was very there, confused by this one. Is, but, there is some, know. like, Boots storyline that we're never going to see. Because <laughs> like, she man. said it as she walked in, and she said it as she walked out, and we're like... So... It's actually um Orion was ter- terribly traumatized by Boots the Monkey from Dar- Dora the Explorer. <laughs> Are you ready, Boots? Um, this look is really nice, and to fa- say that it's all handmade, like it's yeah. really cute. It's really polished. Um, I have one makeup complaint. is good. Mm, is it that you wanted it to be a hot dog instead of a hamburger? No, it's. <gasps> The, the inner eye is just inner yeah it looks eye. a little funky. it's an artistic choice and i not i'm not sure it's one that i, I would like it i i thought it was cool like it made it her eye seem a lot more dramatic it was cool i thought it was cool mm. you can use it made her look a little sad the future. But that's just me. it was giving me raccoon realness like <laughs> <laughs> that was a little harsh but whatever <laughs> well no like okay like just like the encircled eye, like giving me like panda orca, like mm-hmm. animal that's got just like the full encircled eye, and like I can't not think of that. 
Fair enough. That makes sense. And like, yeah. that's probably just me having a solid fixation. <laughs> but that's where okay. my brain went. Work. All right. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> confessional look. Confessional uh, look. Um, I, what did y'all think before I share my story with this? It's, I mean, it's I pretty know, standard I, confessional look. I really didn't have okay. an opinion of it. Yeah, I was just kind of like, okay, like, yeah. <laughs> So when I, when we were watching, my boyfriend was like, ew. And then I was like, <laughs> I was like, I'm kind of attracted. <laughs> my boyfriend's like, what? And I'm like, I don't know. I can't tell you what it is. It's just giving me like 80s, like stoner vibes. And I'm like, hi. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know who Orion's story reminds me a lot of? Yeah, yeah. Who? In the Star Kid musical cast. There's one guy, and he played Professor Hitchens in The Guy Who Didn't Like Musicals. Okay. And the longer I stare at Orion's story, you see it. it's like, holy, Amazing. like, it liter- this literally just hit me five seconds ago. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Fair enough. I could see it, yeah. Okay. So, all the girls are here. We get our yes. first room mail, and mini challenge is the photo shoot i could not find every single <laughs> uh photo but we could find our lovely winner miss carrie Colby. yeah i, I thought bosco won this quite honestly i honestly didn't like this challenge at all I no didn't either. yeah that's true like the, the harness just kind of ruins every single look yeah yeah they should have at least tried to cover it or something and also, it's a bad mini challenge because Mike Ruiz is still not back. Like, <laughs> I'm so mad. <laughs> he was the best photographer and not just because he was really hot. But also, um, <laughs> not them having Simone just sticking out of every single crotch. Oh my gosh, yeah. Uh, it's like someone posted about the how they love how their favorite photo was June Jambalaya giving birth to Simone. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, essentially. It did look like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah um but yeah this was a mini challenge i'm glad photo shoots are back i just wish it was we got a better one right i'm very intrigued to see what next week's uh Mm -hmm. set looks like yeah just because like i got a kick out of watching every single one of these girls just spinning and going i know like cornbread's face oh okay that was the best moment gave me life Yes. When Cornbread started spinning the wheel the opposite. Yes. yes. That was amazing. That was so great. And yeah. she didn't realize it was her. She thought it was out of time. <laughs> that was so great. That was hilarious. <laughs> so we have our first mini challenge winner. Mm-hmm. And we find out that our main challenge is going to be the Charisma, Nerve, and Talent Show. Yes. I appreciate that they got rid of uniqueness because let's be real, whenever we have a talent show, there ain't a damn thing that's unique about it. <laughs> Unless you're Scarlet Envy and you get deemed safe. And you just bubble burlesque your way to the safety. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's, well, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> okay, so our judges look. Okay. Lizzo. First of all, Lizzo... We'll get to Liz in a second. But first, I really want to commend Ross Matthews on the weight loss. Yes! Like, he is a skinny queen now. And I'm like, what? I, I like, love seeing people congrats. reach just like their self-image goals in yeah. whatever form that takes. And yeah. I just yeah. I love seeing Ross Matthews glowing. He seems so happy with it too. Like, good for him. Like, mm-hmm. honestly... Um, yeah, I, I just I was really surprised and just very like good for you. But and yes, I'm, let's get to go ahead. Yeah, I'm living for Rue's uh, little performance as she walks down the runway. <laughs> like <laughs> she is getting her money's worth on this new album. <laughs> oh, a thousand percent. She's like, I'm just gonna walk for about two and a half minutes and then I'm gonna sit down. <laughs> I'm going to stroll across this runway a couple times, let people dance around me. (laughs) Um, I will say I have a grievance with this runway look for RuPaul because isn't this the same kind of thing Kahana Montrese wore when she was in the bottom, (gasps) except for in red? Oh my God. 
right? And you read her to filth for it. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> and Rue's just like under the table taking notes. Right. <laughs> She's like, this is something I will use in a couple Hiding the notes in her sweatpants. But <laughs> <laughs> RuPaul, please stand up. Give us a look. <laughs> <laughs> oh god i'm bring back utica anyway <laughs> bring back utica queen <laughs> and then we but... have to talk about lizzo yes okay oh, gosh this hair is amazing. this hair yes oh, yeah her every yeah i was like i have no words <laughs> word. like also take a gander at those yams folks like her legs mm. look so good. Yes, she like, is a babe. Oh, she is like yeah, shiny and oiled. Oh, yep. <laughs> also, I just need Lizzo twerking in the workroom every episode. Honestly, yep. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I feel so, so bad. I feel so bad for the second half of the queens that they're not going to get Lizzo twerking in the workroom. I know. I know. Like, great. And Alicia Keys still a, still a great person to bring in. Yes. Yeah. But is Alicia right. Keys going to twerk in the workroom? It's exactly. Like, She's going to play Lizzo mad. Right. It's <laughs> like Lizzo season twerking. 12 when the first half of the girls got Nicki Minaj and then the second half got Robin. And yeah. you're like, this is not the same level. <laughs> <laughs> yeah like i love both of them they're both yes. fantastic people yes. but they both bring such different energy right yeah like um, alicia keys ain't sneaking into the workroom <laughs> right. right but she does have a mirror moment which is kind of fierce too not gonna lie oh i'm i'm gonna be here for that yeah <laughs> all right all right yeah. our first talent is june jambalaya doing african dance this was cool like, i love cool. it yeah, I it just, was really cool. If it just weren't for that headband, just constantly mm-hmm. sliding down. Mm-hmm. At that point, Lily, like Cornbread said, you gotta let that spirit go. Just toss it. Like yeah. there's no <laughs> yeah. more like, oh yes, we have a necklace now. <laughs> yes. Right. I this could be like I could be wrong about this, but I went back and I watched the other talent shows because like mm-hmm. I felt like it was appropriate. Oh. I think they pulled the props out from uh, when BB did her African dance. They just went and pulled those props back out. The same ones. The same set pieces. (laughs) And we're just like, Cameroon. (laughs) It's Cameroon. Uh, Lion King off Broadway. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) um, But no, I really... Also, this outfit is super gorgeous on June. Um, yes. I like the colors on this. It looks mm-hmm. good on her skin tone. Um, and I thought it was a good performance. I, I enjoyed the performance a lot. I did not think yeah. it was worthy of the placement. Yeah. Right. Just cause I, um, my boyfriend did say that like he noticed she got a little tired halfway through, which rewatching i could kind of see mm-hmm. but still i i do think like it was still a really good performance and i think it was a if we're talking about unique talent shows this is actually a unique one yes um so for for originality i would give it an, a couple extra points um mm-hmm. but yeah yeah absolutely yeah bosco doing burlesque this was interesting this was <laughs> I didn't hate this, but I, there are a lot of things I did like. Like I liked how it was a flower, pe- like petals falling off to be like the reveal. Like that was cool and really fun yeah. and interesting. Um, the tiny flower um, popping on the ass crack at the end. It literally looked like she just stuck it on with like some duct tape, <laughs> on, like right before she went on. She's like, all right, we're set, moving on. <laughs> <So> I'm like, <laughs> um, of the burlesque performances that we this have is seen. The worst one. I was going to say that Pharaoh was the worst one. Nah, Pharaoh's set looked expensive. Um, and Pharaoh looked, before she fell, I was really into it. Um, I got a little bored with this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I will say, yeah. like, as far as the burlesque performances go, it wasn't my favorite. Of the performances of the night, it wasn't yeah. the worst. <laughs> yeah. Right. And Walmart yeah. defense to Pharaoh Mo here. I'm a huge Pharaoh stand, so I will defend her. Out of all the burlesque performances, which one's the most memorable? 
Exactly. Like, creme. No. Pheromone, creme. Falling, pheromone falling on her ass is hysterical every time. <laughs> like, I don't think that that's the reason why it should be the most memorable. But it is the most memorable. <laughs> I will say Ben de la Creme and then, swinging big rope pasties yeah. around. I like, the, I like the many nipple bra. That was the best part. Where it was just like yes. a dozen on her chest. It was like, work, okay. Um, but no. Um, yeah, Pheromone, go follow her on Instagram. It's amazing. Her Twitter's hysterical. Go follow oh, her. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> she has no qualms going after girls like she will <laughs> at people she would drag their names through the mud like f- seeing this tiny little glamorized chihuahua just like pounce is hysterical like <laughs> i need to go on a very brief tangent oh yeah and i don't know how brief this brief is gonna be but okay <laughs> miss gia gun on twitter this week <laughs> so, before we get into that first of all big congrats to mj rodriguez for being the first trans woman to win a golden globe yes that is amazing Ooh, um but yes gia had a lot to say about i don't know if it was a lot to say it was people had a lot to say back to her yeah (laughs) she was like the doors i've opened yeah and then every other trans queen that has ever been on the show has been like fuck my drag right (laughs) so wait to bring amber up to speed on this um gia gun (laughs) is a contestant from season six who came out later as trans and then competed on all stars as a trans woman okay um and i think she was the first um not like the first trans person to compete but she was the first one who competed post-op um okay but like before her there's been other girls who who've said on camera during the season that they're trans and whatnot they just haven't like um off yet but um when she so gia tweeted about I'm so happy to see an uh, out trans person on a real season of Drag Race. Um, the doors I have opened, end quote. And oh. I got Nick, who was, who was on <laughs> the previous season. Previous as, season. Yeah, a, a trans male. Um, also, um, like, like, um, so what's the what 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 is what the phrase I'm looking for? um like like openly like a trans after male. transition yeah. yeah 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 thank you um like <laughs> retweet a fall, uh, comment of being like wow i love my fake season of drag race uh, <laughs> good, for, good for them though like yeah and then gia tries to fix it by oh, saying geez. saying sorry let me clarify trans woman on drag race <gasps> oh. And I'm like, oh yes, because trans men aren't trans people either. That's Thank you, Gia. Like <laughs> that she's that. Oh I think my, my favorite one though was terrible. Kylie Sony Glove wearing the crown in her profile picture. It's like <laughs> fuck me. Right. <laughs> like, <laughs> we've, Love had a, we've had a trans winner already. Like it looked yeah. last year. And then <laughs> Kylie's like okay like <laughs> yeah oh um, my but gosh the best part about this is after this happened cornbread tweeted wow can't wait for gia to tweet that she opened the doors to let mj rodriguez win a golden globe because she saw one on a book once in sixth grade <laughs> <laughs> it was so good that's fantastic oh my god <laughs> oh. and this fun tangent is gonna be the kind of thing you exclusively get on youtube <laughs> yeah so right. moving on <laughs> love the disclaimer next girl, next girl. <laughs> Alyssa hunter's rock lip sync i this love was... so okay sorry you can go ahead first <laughs> I... it... did i enjoy it yes did she look good yes um i was a little confused because she said she was gonna play a guitar and yeah. then she just air guitar i know she barely even air guitar like I let's know. <laughs> i was so okay so as someone like this is not really but like i love like rock music and metal music like all that stuff like that's like who i am and i feel like mm-hmm. i don't see that a lot with like a lot of queer people i don't know right. maybe and i'm just like under a rock basically no, but no. Like I was like when she said she was gonna play the guitar and like this rock thing and like everything started like I was so pumped up like I was like like ready to go and then the fact that like she didn't really play guitar and she just like yeah kind of like half assed air guitar and I was like yeah I appreciate the concept <laughs> but the execution right. made me a little sad but her outfit looked really cool like I really like her outfit and stuff yeah. but yeah yeah I. <sighs> 
I think this was probably one of the least successful of the uh, yeah like talents. Just because like right, it was very much the exact thing we all rail against during a <laughs> uh, talent show or variety right. show. I do yeah. think so. I think with Alyssa and June, it was kind of like neck and neck on who deserves to be in the bottom two between mm-hmm. the two of them with um, Orion, mm-hmm. um, but. I think so. Alyssa's performance was at least more polished. Um, it mm-hmm. was cleaner. She didn't have as many like mess ups like you know June did with like the um, hairband and like how uh, June's like we'll get to it. But her runway look, how there was a little bit of some fold, like folding happening within the like leggings and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think that's what kept her from the bottom. But I do think, and I brought this up with her talent show, is that you know June took a little bit more risks and I mm-hmm. felt like had a little bit more originality to her yeah. and I feel like that should have boosted her higher than Alyssa but yeah. I think there's a there can be an argument made for both of them deserving a bottom two spot right so. yeah I agree yeah next up Carrie Colby doing a jump rope routine okay here's what I'm gonna say <laughs> <laughs> I've seen a lot of discourse on Reddit and Discord, funny enough, discourse on Discord um, and Twitter, saying that Carrie Kobe should have been in the top. Y'all are delusional. Yeah. This is a perfectly safe performance. It's yeah. not bad, but right. it does not deserve a win. Like, Yeah, <laughs> yeah I agree. Especially this is because... the... Oh, go, Yo, ahead. go ahead. That's the... Sorry. <laughs> I was going to say, this was the <laughs> the first time that jump ropes have been relevant to me since Corbin Blue did jump in on Disney Channel. Oh like... my <laughs> gosh. Not jump in. <laughs> <laughs> wow, oh, I had man. the biggest crush on Corbin Blue in middle school. That brought back <laughs> so many memories. <laughs> uh, okay, anyway. <laughs> I will say I was a little disappointed when she said her thing was jump rope and then the cameraman barely showed her doing any actual jumping. Yeah. Like yeah. it was a lot of like w- like chest up shots yeah. while she was doing it. And I was like, no, like I want to see the double dutch though. Like let let me see the talent. Right. So I don't know if that was a editor's choice or if that was her jump roping wasn't at good so they were trying to not show that as much like I don't know what was going on there yeah I just noticed I noticed her not jump roping well Mm -hmm. and the friend that I watched this with we both said that like we would have loved to see to have seen more jump rope like maybe closer to the beginning Beginning. but then at that point it might have just been like very like well level the whole time like the energy would have changed now I don't know a goddamn thing about jump roping, but I feel like you could have like just like skipped down the runway first, and then once you got up front and center, you could have pulled out your fancy tricks and shit, you know, like yeah, um, and then like ended with the split too, and then you know, like I I, I think mm-hmm. there could have been ways to incorporate the actual like what her, what she had aimed to be the talent in the act, you know, to yeah. incorporate a little bit more throughout. Mm-hmm. And all of these are reasons why I don't think she deserves to be the winner. I think she's beautiful and gorgeous, but y'all right. are delusional. She did not win this. Episode. Yeah, yeah. This was not I... a winning performance. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Orion story. I what was this? I'm she sorry. has a hot one in the chamber. <laughs> what was this? This hurt I, to see. This it, really hurt me it, to see. It was so because cringy. There was definitely an idea here. Yes. But yeah. it felt like watching a character workshop. And <laughs> she literally I said was... during Untucked that it was all improvised. And I'm like, girl, you do not improvise on this stage. Like, we have yet to see a girl successfully improvise yeah. on that stage. There needed yeah. to have been a script of some sort, or at least a skeleton. Yeah. As Monique so nicely told Jasmine on All Stars 4. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, like, there needed to have been some form of structure and I feel like if there was, it wouldn't have been so awkward. Mm-hmm. However, I will say mm-hmm. I did laugh a lot, but I laugh when things get cringy. So exactly. Like, <laughs> yeah. I will um, say the look, like just the look, I thought on. there was so much potential and I was so yeah. excited. And then I got yeah. a hot one in the chamber. <laughs> that, that made me laugh though. I fully that was literally on the that only part. thing from that that I remember. And when in doubt, stroke it out. 
hot one in the chamber stroke it out the, so that was the only thing memorable good about lines it. in yeah. there it just needed to be tightened up more yeah um, absolutely I'm sad because i feel like i'm gonna get some hate for this i'm sad that there was actually an elimination this time because i feel like i would have liked to have seen more of orion's story and i'm upset that kimura hall got more air type than orion's story <laughs> 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 From the house of ho <laughs> chicago's mackie down <laughs> all right willow pill <laughs> so this was, i texted again. you about this because i remember the last episode we recorded i was like what are our lip syncs like and you're like they're weird and i was like <laughs> i was like what the fuck do you mean with that well, and now we I know this, this is like, what the oh. fuck i mean oh yeah okay. <laughs> um <laughs> like <laughs> this was interesting and honestly so i don't know again this is the first time i've watched this season all the way through and i know jake i kind of told you this too um i was surprised at how much everyone actually liked it like i saw this and i was just like oh shit willow's going home Did you not like this okay. it was it was interesting i i don't know what i was expecting like i didn't hate it but i didn't think like everyone else was gonna like love it like mm -hmm. have the reaction that they did with it so, but again, I've never watched, I don't know a lot about drag. So then I was just like, okay, maybe this is like a normal, like kind of lip sync thing. Like, mm -hmm. I, so I'm like, I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> Here's the thing with this. I love a queen who understands the importance of being stupid. Yes. Like it, it, it's, there, it, it's a certain kind of humor that you have to be really in tune with, but mm -hmm. like, I like to, to at least pull off successfully like Willow did. But the way that she did it, I was like, this girl's so dumb and she's so smart about it. Like, oh, yeah, it was yeah, yeah. So, like, it's funny. like strategic. <laughs> yeah, like, like, strategically she is dumb. <laughs> like, she is purposefully making herself the butt of the joke. And right. I think that's really smart because at the end of the day, RuPaul only wants to laugh. And that's kind of how you win Drag mm -hmm. Race. Gotcha. And this is a okay. great way to early on make yourself one Set of his favorites mm -hmm. and okay. it's for a to sort of like play the game and play the like show it's so smart to do and for that i gave willow a shit ton of props oh yeah i was like this is exactly what you need to be doing and i'm glad you're doing it <laughs> it's like when it's like when season 12 crystal method finally picked up on all the like times that rupaul was obsessed with her mullet and then she like just did three challenges, just focusing on look at my mullet. Yeah. You know, like <laughs> I was like, this is really dumb, but you know, Rue likes this, so do it. Right. You know, so, yeah, okay. absolutely. My so I for some reason, once a year, I go through this period of time where Enya's only time is on a loop in my head. <laughs> oh, no. It's happened since I was a little kid. My mom really liked this song, and like okay. it's a great song. And I guess this year we're just gonna go ahead and get this uh, this loop out of the way. Uh -huh. Out of the way, beginning of I will say, There's something funny about um, only time. I constantly mash it up in my head with Sinead O'Connor's "Nothing Compares to You." <laughs> like, <laughs> it's the same sort of vibe, and I have a hard time distinguishing the two sides. Yeah, <laughs> no, I yeah, I can see that for sure. Absolutely. All right. Moving on. Yeah. Cornbread, the winner's Winner. jeté. One. Freaking I mean, the cornbread. Fact, the best part of this, like, one of the smartest things I've had this performance, and I'm sad, Amber, that you didn't get this joke, but when it zooms in on the milk carton and it's, it's just missing, Merle and it's Ginsburg. Merle Ginsburg, who was a judge on the first two seasons and has never been seen again. Oh. <laughs> the biggest loss to the show since Merle Ginsburg. <laughs> That's <laughs> so funny. The way I screamed when that happened. <laughs> Same. <laughs> It was so good. Um, yeah. yeah. I've been and, waiting for this track to show up on iTunes. Yeah. I've been I know, like, I like the first Spotify. I was like, where is it? I know. I couldn't find it on Spotify either. So if anyone finds it, let me know, please. Yeah. Literally just like bombard us with that information. If anyone listening find it, right? finds this, message me on Instagram <laughs> and send me where you found it because the song was fantastic. My yeah, favorite yeah. thing about this entire episode <laughs> is that our top two queens for the episode did performances that elevated what we would normally berate in a talent right. show. We had the yes. bitch track and the lip sync. Yeah. That like but, 
both blew Willow it out of the water. And Cornbread literally said, "This is how you do it, girls." And I was yes. like, "Thank you." <laughs> and the mm. fried chicken necklace, I just where can I get me one of those? Exactly. Like, thank you. I'm like, I need that in my life I just, right now. I want that wig <laughs> also, so much. Also. Yeah. As the only person of color in this chat, I will speak on this. When <laughs> Michelle Visage was like, I only understood every five words. I'm like, oh, sweetie, your white is showing. Like, <laughs> I was like, girl, what are you saying? Yeah. I, yeah, absolutely. I'm so glad both Lowe's and RuPaul were like, mm, yeah, no. they called her out a little. Yeah. No. Oh, God, no. God. That is not um, correct. <laughs> I didn't care any news tweeted. She's like, um, ciao, anyway. So <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you understood anything that Candy Muse said, and you're calling out cornbread. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, clearly yes. the winner. I don't, there's not much else to there, discuss on that. Yeah, you yeah. can't argue that this was the best performance of the night. Yeah. Like, you could cornbread argue that sweet. Willow gave her um, some sort of competition, but I still think Cornbread still won that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was she a very clear water, top like, two, but like, it was an even clearer winner. I think mm-hmm. the only argument for Willow to win would have been Willow did a bigger risk and the judges could have awarded that. But yeah. like, yeah, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> so category is signature show-stopping drag, which I feel like this is one of those categories that you can literally just nitpick anything. Right. Mm-hmm. And well, like, I, I just feel like you have to look I have to be like, bitch, you better work when I see you. You know, like, yeah. I can't yeah. be like, eh, this is cute. If I don't gag kind of, the second yeah. you are in that doorway. Yeah. That's kind <laughs> of how I rank this category. I was like, I have to be like, wow. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. First queen. June Jambalaya. I gasped when she walked around this quarter. I was mm-hmm. like, you are so gorgeous. You are a queen yeah. of the desert. Look yes. at you. Mm-hmm. These big fuck off arm sleeves. Like, yes. Yeah. This is yes. a queen that knows how to work flowing fabric. Yes. yes. Which yeah. is not always so easy to do. No. Um, so true. Uh, and <laughs> <laughs> but also the like rhinestones all over the bodysuit. Mm-hmm. It was real pretty. And yeah, I get yeah. what you're saying. It could be tighter around the body a little bit more. It wasn't very, it does yeah. Scrooge up a little bit around the knees. But it's still gorgeous like Mm -hmm. and the mug and the hair Mm -hmm. yeah this is one that i could do like waist up and it's absolutely flawless yeah Mm -hmm. and like minor critiques yeah yeah ever since you mentioned soju now all i can think of is her spinning and that is just (laughs) like dominated my being flushed (laughs) down the toilet (laughs) (laughs) oh okay Next up, Bosco. And this is where I'm talking about the horns. Like, yeah. gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Right. But the horns. The horns. <laughs> the horns. <laughs> like, but I do like this look. It's like Maleficent going to the club, yes. trying to pick herself yeah. a man. Like, yep. <laughs> mm-hmm. I love it. Yeah. I'm waiting for the day Michelle reads the eyebrows, though. Like, I love them, but you know mm-hmm. that if you do anything more than like twice on the runway, right. Michelle starts calling it out. Yeah. I would have liked, like, maybe like, like a fiery red wig on this just to have a spot of color on this. That'd be cool. But yeah. it's still a really good look. Mm-hmm. You no, know, we could have done like the fiery red wig. We could have done like a yellow dress. We could have brought in some orange shoes and bring back Tina. No, Brown. no, no, no. <laughs> I realized Sounds like it took that too far. <laughs> Halfway through. And I was like, don't go here. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Alyssa Hunter. I'm getting okay. whiplash. This like like my fair lady audrey hepburn like but yeah like she's like the rich cousin of audrey hepburn like you know like yes. yeah <laughs> this is and she let you know these are not chicken feathers these are ostrich they're more expensive <laughs> like they this was a great look if it weren't for the fact she just did heavy metal like yeah <laughs> right, right before this yeah. i was like i was like I, for me i think Alyssa has polished looks, but there's no like storyline. There's no through line through it all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're all just mm-hmm. really great individual pieces, but I don't see them as part of a collection. Yes. I think we're at a point now where every like 
damn near every runway is flawless. Yeah. But like you have to have your character like, established before you even walk into the workroom. Yeah. Like, I like I think someone who understood this very a lot during her season, Jackie Cox's looks were all they were all sort of different, but they all had a sort of like kitschy nerd ish like theme yeah. to them. That like a 1960s them, yeah aesthetic. like identifiably like oh jackie cox you know yeah um and i think this is Alyssa needs to just like pick a lane not the whole interstate you know like <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay carrie colby I didn't girl like i this saw this one. look and i'm like i saw this look and i'm like oh my god she's borrowing it from elliot like how many <laughs> Muppets had to die, Carrie? <laughs> like the honestly, the K's just like I didn't. Yeah, it was so, so weird. When Lizzo, I was so said, disappointed. When Lizzo said, "She's like, I'm glad there was more than just three K's on this bodysuit." I howled because I was thinking the exact same thing. I was like, "Ooh, just a bunch of K's on your bodysuit? That's a little literally. It's a risk." I mean, and that's why I'm like, "Oh my God, Elliot's back." <laughs> Not days. <laughs> oh my god. This just Yeah, this one confused me a lot. I don't know. I, I thought was this was strange. Yeah, the thing is, this is just a perfectly safe runway. I think she's gorgeous in it. I think right. it looks nice on her. Will I remember this look in three weeks? Probably not. You know, yeah, like this very much like I'm already getting like very safe queen vibes. Like mm-hmm. Carrie is gonna ride a lot of the middle road, and then I she needs to push herself a little further. I think yeah, is what it mm-hmm. is because I think the judges are gonna call her out on what I'm saying is like she is a beautiful gal. Don't get me mm-hmm. wrong, she needs to do more than that though. Yeah, this is the Carmen Carrera of the season so far. Ooh. Mm-hmm. but like yep. with actually good viewpoints and doesn't say weird crazy stuff. <laughs> um, so, all um, right, yeah. Orion story. This was so strange to me. Like I got like, I feel like you know when you're reading like those like old books that were like written in the 50s and they're like you know the hardcover with the gold binding and mm-hmm. people mm-hmm. look all weird in it. Like that's the yeah. vibe I got from this. Like, I... like it was just like it was so strange to me. Maybe this is just me being a Orion stan. I thought this look was super fun. I mm-hmm. really liked. It. I liked the stoning on this bodysuit um i like that she's basically the best little whore in whoville like i <laughs> like there's this element of like camp whimsy to it that i'm really into yeah i just thought it was really fun um but i, I also felt like the three titties were very derivative like yeah. i saw the three titties and I, my mind immediately went to eb oddly and then i was like but i, I liked that dress more fair this kind it's of was like, like I got like a mashup of like Mars Attacks and Who Will. That's kind of where I was kind of pulling my references from. Um, And so for that, I was like, this is fun. Um, Weird points of references, but I like that you're kind of clashing them. Mm -hmm. Um, The one thing I will say don't like, I don't like the cotton balls on the fingers. That was a little strange to me. Yeah, it was weird. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know what it is. (laughs) I was like, I feel like... I also feel like, like oh, I don't know, it made me like almost uncomfortable a little bit. I think it was like the makeup, like something about the makeup is just kind of like rubbing me the wrong way. Okay, fair enough. I don't yeah. know why. But... <laughs> but all right, cornbread, the snack, jeté. Looking like Whitney Houston, yes. Queen of the Night. Um, yes. This is going to be a very niche reference, but... I saw Cornbread walk out on stage and I was like, oh, she's giving us Lady of the Lake spam a lot. Like, oh my God. Like, <laughs> what? Lady of the Lake. Show. <laughs> I was not thinking about talking about spam a lot today. <laughs> but I saw that and like, I hate that that was the first thing my brain went to. Like, <laughs> Lady of the Lake, Las Vegas residency. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my a God. song that goes like this <laughs> all um, that to say i fucking love this look yes you know, i love it great. i will say i do agree with the judges in that i would have liked some sort of wig or fascinator on like just because it sort of like 
boxes her in a little yeah. bit. And so I would have liked a little bit more height. But other than that, it's really great. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I feel like that was kind of the point is to be like a very flat, like headpiece. I feel like whenever you do something like that, that's supposed to be the the look. I would have loved something maybe in the bottom to kind of sh- like f- yeah, flare I, I just out. Something. It felt like something was missing. Yeah. Yeah. But still, no, still great, gorgeous. Um, those legs. Oh my god. Like, yeah, her legs are just chef's kiss. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> Alrighty. Willow Pill. This should have been her entrance look. Like the courage yeah. to walk out on the runway wearing green. <laughs> but like, this doesn't give me like show stopping drag. Like this no. should have right. been. If this was her entrance look, it would have been really cool. Um, mm-hmm. and really great for that and but like this is like it's fine like yeah. I don't I don't think there's anything bad about this I'm just kind of like when you have people on this runway looking like you know Alyssa and June and um you know even Cornbread and you know and then you have this and I'm like okay you know like yeah this- little outclassed <laughs> So entrance look was like early 2000s Mall Walker. This is 2035 Mall Walker. Mall Walker, yeah. <laughs> that's that's really the vibe that I got. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> and I really, yeah, I feel like there really isn't anything else to say about it. I still think it's good though. Like I like the like little stoning on like the jacket and the skirt. Mm-hmm. Like it is well done. Yeah. It's a good look. It's just very, yeah. it doesn't really stand out to compared to the others. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, real quick. I want to talk about the fact that Alyssa Hunter thought Willow's name was Willow Pillow. Oh, my Willow gosh. Willow Pillow. Yes. I was and Willow. while we were on the topic. Oh, yeah. I feel like we're going to say the same thing. The baby <laughs> voice drives me up a wall. It's, if I have to listen to that all season, Willow like, Pillow. I don't know if I can do it. I mean, and, I will for the sake of this, but like... <laughs> Oh, and literally, really? if it was yeah. meant to be a little, like a little pill joke, it would be one thing. But right, little right. pill, like that, the constant doesn't work. Like, yeah, I thought it was funny. <laughs> it would like, it be insane. It almost yeah. filled me with like heterosexual rage. <laughs> yes, yes. That's not a tune. Maddie comes on next episode. Uh, <laughs> no, we're gonna talk about that confessional look. But anyway. <laughs> We're on the main stage and we get our critiques. Some whack ones from Michelle, but that's fine. Well, Uh, you know, Michelle is Michelle. Michelle, (laughs) did you ever watch the show? (laughs) I feel like Michelle's really trying to lean in on being the Simon this season. Uh, Probably. And I'm worried that that's going to end up being very bad in a narrative sense. The real twist would be, what if... Car- uh, what if Carson's the villain this season? Is Carson the I villain? Would, I don't think he's the, the drama. <laughs> I don't think he's the drama. <laughs> uh, what would we do without Scarlet? Oh my god. I just need Scarlet on the sidelines just saying random shit. <laughs> anyway, yes, critiques. Um, so, I mean, yeah, I think we already discussed most of our thoughts on the critiques throughout yeah. the yeah. know, rest of the episode. Yeah. Um, so, um, yeah, I mean, we already discussed like the possibility that Alyssa could have taken June's place, um, but mm-hmm. it's just kind of about whether if you value polish over originality um, or sense of identity, I guess. Um, and but yeah, um, yeah. So, I, I, overall, I agreed with the judging placements this episode. Yeah, based on the judges' critiques, Ruse made some decisions, and we have our placements for this first episode. So Cornbread is our winner with Bosco and Willow Pill both placing high. Correct. Very fitting. <laughs> Carrie Colby is our safe queen, which again, yeah. yeah. I, I yeah. really, I don't disagree with the placements this episode. Yeah. Mm. I yeah, could no. see an argument for swapping June and Alyssa, like you were saying, but otherwise. Yeah. But, yeah. I don't know. Very. That's... Correct. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm not mad. <laughs> right. <laughs> So, lip sync for your life, June Jambalaya eight. versus Orion. June eight story up. Like, yeah, yes. there was no hope for Orion's story in this. Sorry. Yeah, and it, it was really sad to see her get 
murder like this but yeah it wasn't yeah. the lizzo song that i thought we were gonna get but i'm very happy that we had that. i was mm-hmm. kind of hoping for tempo but like you know <laughs> yeah i've gone for like juice we've already had juice was it, did they do juice i thought they did um it's, like it was um, an all stars five it was a Juju okay Beaver exchange oh yeah yeah but uh but I would have liked excuse me a lot, honestly, but that's fine. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Water's still a good song. Um, June Water. Jambalaya absolutely won the slip sync. Mm-hmm. Ryan's story like existed. Gave us yeah. Charlie Hyde's. Uh, no, no, that's not okay. Fair, because there was yeah. there was a wig reveal, there was a split, like there were attempts. <laughs> there were there were two things. <laughs> like, I mean, it's more than Orion, uh, not more uh, not Orion, it's more than Charlie Hyde's yelling at kids to get off her lawn, you know. Like <laughs> <laughs> she did walk across the stage. She did end on the opposite end. Yeah. <laughs> so there was movement, there was variety. Yeah. Uh <laughs> but all that to say that our first queen to sashay away was orion story uh, and mentioned boots on the way out the door <laughs> <laughs> yeah because she got booted uh, <laughs> foreshadowing foreshadowing she should have from said it. the entrance <laughs> right Jeez. um yeah i was really hoping she'd stick around longer i didn't think she would but i was hoping she would yeah. i was gonna say you did call that you thought she might be a first out last episode yeah yeah so sad but oh well mm-hmm. yeah can i throw out a theory though of what i think might happen this Please is probably do. totally not right but i have this theory maybe in my lack of knowledge that after next week's elimination what if rue had Ooh, the two yeah. people yep. who got eliminated do a lip sync for their lives to get back onto the show. And That's keep what competing. I was thinking too. Yeah. yeah. We've, be we've cool. been doing this show since 2009. I think we're beyond the days of a plain elimination. Yeah. yeah. The lady did not just say go home. <laughs> she, right. She, she yeah. did say, should I stay away? But um, I do think that, that is a good possibility. And I hope it's true. Yeah. I hope that what it's probably going to be Georgia's versus Orion. We'll, we'll find out. Mm, I can yeah. see that. But yeah. All right. Uh, so any next week we have part 2 of the Charisma Nerve and Talent Award or uh of talent show. Mm-hmm. Blanket thoughts. Uh we were going to get our second set of queens. How do we think they're going to do? Um so I think Maddie's going to be some do something surprising. What if Maddie just ch- like chugs a Bud Light on stage <laughs> and then leaves <laughs> shotguns <laughs> yeah. Gives us Honestly, a Joel McHale. Woo! That would be a true camp. Uh, <laughs> um, and then I think um, sits on the ooh, stage and man spreads. <laughs> I'm really curious to see what Lady Camden's gonna do. I have no yeah. idea, but I'd love mm-hmm. to see it. I would like to see that. Yeah, um, absolutely. And oh, Angie's coming on next episode. Yes, and we get I'm Nigeria. So excited. I. Yeah. So once we have all the queens together, I do want to have like who do we think our top four is going to be? But since we only yeah. have half of them this week, that's hard to who, say. Who do you think are going to be our final? Like who two that you think are going to make it to the finale from this episode? From this episode purely, I'm going to say cornbread for sure. Yeah, I I mean, for, I really I feel like I'm just going to go with our top two for the week. Cornbread and Willow, I think are going to go. Mm-hmm. I yeah. think the end. That's- it i, I want to say carrie colby because i just love her but like if she's like played it safe yeah. the whole time i, I think it's happening, either, so. i think it's going to be cornbread and bosco is what i'm gonna say okay mm-hmm. i could definitely see an argument for bosco making it all the way mm-hmm. yeah but that's, that's uh it. that's the first episode that's all let's uh yeah yeah <laughs> but yeah can't wait to watch next episode discuss that um look for us on youtube and spotify and where else are we on i think that's really it right now i'm still working on okay. getting us on apple podcasts but Sounds uh good. Nice. um yeah 
we might have social media soon. In the meantime, uh, you can follow me on Twitter at musical underscore Riles. I mainly just tweet about Drag Race and Survivor. So <laughs> that's what you're into. I got if, you. If we're uh, plugging socials. Uh, I know, right? Check, I was like. <laughs> check me yeah. out at, uh, on Instagram at Jake Jansen Music. That's really it. You can find me at Amber Nicole Burke on Instagram. <laughs> I don't post anything that fun, but go ahead. You know, if you find that cornbread song, please message it to me. <laughs> yeah, honestly. <laughs> and with that, I would like to say that, um, you know what? I'm going to go have my cigarette because it's done. And uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll catch you next time. Thank yeah, you so fun, much, y'all. Fun conversation to fade into the outro. Yeah. <laughs>